Today's forest yoga practice is one of connecting to your strength, but also to really feeling the sensations of your yoga practice. We'll be using some of my favorite forest yoga moves to really dial up the intensity, to feel the strength in different parts of your body, and hopefully to make it feel a little bit more responsive, a little bit more awake. Enjoy. For today's class, you might need to use a block or a rolled up yoga mat or a towel as part of your prop kit. You can have one or the other. The rolled up mat gives you really good purchase on the inner thighs so you can start to wake up your reductors. It's something we use in a lot of forest yoga classes. If you want to do more of that, then go ahead and get yourself one. Start in a cross-legged position. If you feel like your hips are tipping backwards and a kneeling position is preferable, do that. Alternatively, you can take the block and wedge that against your sacrum to stop the pelvis feeling like it's falling backwards, giving you the support for your back and getting the postural muscles firing. Close the eyes and set your hands onto your knees. Make a shift into ujjayi breathing, an audible whisper quality sound to your breath. If you're newer to ujjayi, it's the same engagement you would use in the throat as you would when whispering, and it sounds like this. So you're doing that same audible form of breathing, but in and out through the nose. So right now, make a switch to doing an inhale for five and exhale for six. Keep doing this. Now, already doing this form of deep breathing intentionally is a profound act in a day of busyness and whatever else is pulling at your attention. Using deep breathing in our forest yoga poses helps keep you very present. Today, your intent is to connect to the visceral sensations of your practice to help orient you in real time. So it isn't about your agenda, it isn't about what has come before the class, it isn't about what's coming after the class but purely about the physical sensations that you can feel within the practice. For that reason, we'll be doing some of my favorite forest yoga elements that really bring in that heightened attention. So focusing on breath, movement, but also specific muscular contractions that speak to the postural muscles of the body. Beginning with seated shoulder shrugs. Change the cross in your legs. If you're sitting kneeling, stay as you are. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, bring your shoulders straight up, straight back and squeeze them. Exhale, pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, spread in between your shoulders. Exhale, squeeze the middle part of your shoulders back, squeeze a lot, pull shoulders down. Inhale, spread in the back, this time palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and the elbow tips towards each other, drag the shoulder blades down. The squeeze is quite strong in those shoulders. Inhale, spread in between your shoulder blades. Hold the breath, bring the shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, drag shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, spread in between shoulders. Exhale, middle part of shoulders squeeze back, squeeze a lot, pull shoulders down. Inhale, spread in the back, palms face up this time. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other, pull shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, relax the arms down. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths in a way that move into the chest and the upper back, feeling what you've done between the shoulder blades and allowing yourself to sense how the shoulders are today and maybe how we can use them in the remainder of the practice. Any movements that you do today that feel like they're getting rushed, one of the things that I notice at a forest yoga class is that it's never rushed. There's time. So as you move today, move without that sense of urgency. Move in a way that has you really connected to what you're doing in the moment and to the physical sensations of what it is that we're trying to achieve. Coming down for abdominals. You're going to grab either your rolled up mat or your block and have it down at the inner thighs. Lay down onto your back. With the roll at the inner thighs as close to your pelvis as possible, send the legs so they're either straight up or work with your legs bent. 
If your lower back is feeling really fragile with the legs up, then work with the feet on the floor, but endeavoring to press the low back down into the mat. Inhale, press low back and sacrum into the ground. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the roll. Exhale, head and shoulders lift up, pulling belly down. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the roll. Feet are active, toes spreading. Exhale, head and shoulders up. Belly pulls down. Inhale, lift the head down. Hold your breath. Curl, tailbone up. Squeeze the roll up mat. Exhale, head and shoulders lift. Now stay up. Curl the tailbone up a second time. Squeeze the roll even more. Belly button pulls down. Inhale, lift the head down. Hold your breath. Curl, tailbone up. Roll the thighs in towards each other. Squeeze the roll. Exhale, head and shoulders lift up. Shoulder blades lift up. Curl tailbone a second time. Squeeze the roll even more. Belly pulls down. Inhale, lay the head down. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Roll thigh bones out. Squeeze the roll. Exhale, head and shoulders lift. Curl tailbone up a second time. Squeeze the rolled up mat. Belly down. Smooth out any movements that are becoming abrupt. Inhale, lay the head down. Now this round, flex the feet, toes pull towards the shins. Inhale, press the low back down. Be attentive to the change in sensations. Hold the breath, curl, tailbone up, squeeze, roll. Exhale, head and shoulders lift up, underarms lift up. Curl, tailbone up a little bit more, squeeze, roll, belly down. Inhale, lay head down and set your feet down. Roll is going to stay at the inner thighs. Bridge with the roll. Bring the arms down towards your feet and bring the heels in so they're close enough to you that you can touch them without dragging them in. Arms are down by the sides, palms face up. Without lifting from the mat, inhale, lengthen your rib cage towards the back of the room. Exhale, tuck tailbone towards the ceiling, squeeze the roll, feet are active, toe tips lifting and spreading, and you're still on the ground. Inhale, lengthen ribs towards the back of the room. Exhale, lift pelvis, drive down into the heels. Inhale, lift the breastbone towards the chin. Exhale, squeeze your heels towards your head to feel the backs of your legs light up. The grip on the roll should be tangible, so about 60% squeeze, but not so much that you feel everything around the pelvis is tensing and hardening up. So create just enough sensation that you can feel your muscles activating, but not so much that you're hardening and tensing your whole body just to be there. Now, if I had my way, Everyone on this planet would be doing bridge with the roll every single day to build the representation of the muscles of the inner thighs that are frequently, eat, well, frequently atrophied from a lot of sitting. So if you know that you have a desk job, get into the habit of doing this in the morning. That would be, that would be really great. To exit, exhale, tuck tailbone and begin to lower down through shoulders, mid-back, low back and then set the pelvis down. Remove the roll, set it to the right. Back release, cross your left foot over the right thigh. Foot is flexing, the foot isn't on the knee, it's just below there. Exhale, bring the legs up, left arm goes through the gap in the legs to hold the right thigh, or to hold the right shin, easing the leg in. Inhale, press outwards with that left thigh. Exhale, use your arms to bring the leg in against the resistance. If you find that your head is whipping back, roll up your yoga mat so you've got a little extra padding underneath your head or put a blanket there. Inhale, press the pelvis down, lengthen chest and back of the room. Exhale, begin to rock the legs maybe two inches to the left, maybe two inches to the right to feel where the sweet spot might be today. And be willing to explore different parts of your hips each day rather than always assuming it will be the same place. Pay really close attention to what the sensations are and whether they have distracted you from your breathing. Exhale, release the legs. Cross the right foot over the left thigh. Exhale, lift the legs up, taking the right arm through the gap in the legs to hold left thigh or left shin bone. Inhale, lengthen ribs towards the back of the mat. 
Exhale, use your arms to bring the leg in towards you. Right thigh is pressing upwards towards the ceiling. Right foot is flexing. Inhale in a way that pushes your breath into the low belly. Exhale, lightly press down through your pelvis and also through the back of the neck, very slightly. If it's so much so that your chin has tucked and your breathing's become funky and your voice goes weird, then it's way too much. Inhale into the low belly. Exhale, begin to move the legs maybe a couple of inches to the left, maybe a couple of inches to the right. Beginning to address areas of need that may be different from one side to the other. Anticipate that there is going to be differences from one side to the other. Exhale, release the legs, setting the feet down. Roll to your left. Use both arms to push away from the ground. Left hand on the side of the head brings the head up. Come up towards a kneeling position. If kneeling isn't comfortable, then do cross-legged. In the kneeling position, go for shoulders stacked above the pelvis. And bring the elbows up so the elbows are in line with your shoulders. Forearms are parallel to one another for unlocking the shoulders. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades back. Draw shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach the elbows forwards towards the front of the mat. Now, as if there was a block there, P.S. if you've got a block, that would be great in there. Exhale, squeeze the elbows towards one another. So an isometric contraction in the chest. Inhale, lift ribs. Exhale, rotate your forearms out so they are truly parallel. Hands are active. Inhale, lift chest up, lift skull. Exhale, slide right shoulders back, shoulder blades down, still working that contraction inwards. Inhale, reach the elbows forwards. Inhale to release the arms down. Now that might feel incredibly fatiguing around the shoulders, but this is the idea. This feeling of reaching the elbow away from the shoulder is what will keep us spacious in dolphin, which is where we're heading next. Coming down onto the elbows, grab the upper arms. This is simply to measure how far apart the elbows are by grabbing around the upper part of the arm. Hands are then clasping or set the forearms parallel. Now, if your shoulders are tight and the hands are drifting back, go for hands clasped anyway. It will help you be more spacious in the shoulder. Exhale, draw shoulder blades back, shoulder blades down. This should feel familiar. Inhale, reach down through the elbows and up between the shoulder blades. Neck is relaxed. Exhale, squeeze chest muscles, tuck toes, lift the knees up. Inhale, lift the ribs up away from your shoulders. Exhale, drive the legs towards the back of the room and the legs can be bent here. In fact, when the legs are super bent, you can affect a really delicious traction again for the lower back without getting into a negative conversation with your hamstrings. Inhale, lift the ribcage up. Exhale, push down through elbows, forearms and the thumb pads. Stay here. Exhale through the mouth. Do a slow inhale. Exhale, belly pulls in. Inhale, set the knees down and then sit up. Roll the shoulders up and back a couple of times, especially if dolphin is a new part of your practice. In a forest class, this is where we may junction into doing sun salutations, but with a shorter session, we're moving straight into B-series, which we'll come into from downward facing dog. We'll do two poses on one side, and then two poses on the other side. We'll keep changing those poses so we get a really good variety of poses. So it's like a really short, but very varied diet of poses that we'll have just now. For down dog, actively spread the hands, fingers spreading as wide as possible, and then tuck toes, lifting the knees up. If you're wondering about the size of your dog today, then you should be able to shift into more of a plank position without the feet moving around too much. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs, Inhale, step the left foot forwards, set the right foot up so that the left foot points straight ahead. If you drew a line from your left heel, it would intersect the center of the right arch. And then come up. Bend into your left leg so the thigh is bent about 90 degrees to the floor and push down. Feet are active, so that means toes lifting and spreading. Briefly take the left hand to the outside of the left thigh. Push your hand against the thigh, but more importantly, push your thigh against your hand so you feel that you've got the leg muscles engaging, the butt muscles are engaging. Right thigh bone, sit it towards the left side of your mat. Now we've already done these shrugs, but now we're supporting from the legs. 
Inhale, spread into the upper back. Hold the breath, bring shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, pull shoulders and shoulder blades down. Inhale, spread in between the shoulders. Exhale, squeeze middle part of shoulders back, drag shoulders down. Inhale, spread into the back, palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other, pull shoulders down. Inhale, relax the arms down. Now really connect to the support that you're getting in the legs and have some faith in the strength of your own legs. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, bring your shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, pull shoulders and shoulder blades down and away from the ears. Inhale, spread in between shoulder blades. Exhale, middle part of shoulders squeeze back, squeeze a lot, drag shoulders down. Inhale, spread into the back, palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other, pull shoulder blades down. Bring the hands down onto the hips, extended warrior variation. Exhale, slide the left hip towards the right. Right thigh bone will do that roll forwards. And bring the left forearm down onto the thigh. Right hand is going onto the sacrum, so the middle finger is pointing towards the right heel. You should feel like you're on that wedge of bone between the two sort of Mickey Mouse ears parts of the pelvis. Inhale, allow the pelvis to tip very slightly forwards. Exhale, use your right hand to draw the tailbone towards your right heel, doing a bit of a tuck. Inhale, relax the pelvis forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone towards the heel, drive into your left heel. Inhale, slightly tip pelvis forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone towards the heel. Inhale, tip pelvis forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone towards the heel. Plank. Inhale, set the hands down. Step the feet back. Inhale, move the shoulders in front of the wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows. Elbows are above the wrists as you lower down for boat. And the shoulders you're working here are very specific. Interlace the fingers at your lower back. Exhale, slide the thumbs up towards your low to mid back. Inhale, bring your shoulder blades up, shoulder blades back, and squeeze the elbows towards each other. So similar to what we did in shrugs. Inhale here. Exhale, without dropping the elbows, straighten the arms towards the back of the mat, recruiting your triceps. Inhale, lift up the chest. If comfortable enough, Exhale, lift up the legs, tailbone tucks towards the heels. Inhale, lengthen the ribcage forwards. Exhale, roll your knees towards each other, reach the thigh bones back. Downward facing dog. Exhale, release the hands. Tuck toes, lift knees up. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs. Inhale, right foot steps forwards. Right toes point straight ahead, left foot turned parallel to the back of the mat. And come up so your right leg is bent roughly 90 degrees. Relax the arms down. Press down into the feet. Take your right hand outside the right thigh. Push your hand against the thigh, but push the thigh against the hand so you're getting that activity. Drive down into your right heel so you feel your butt muscles and leg muscles are super powered. Left thigh bone, which is a tendency to sit forwards, draw that thigh bone back. You will get a little bit more across the inner thighs, that's fine. Inhale, spread into the upper back. Hold the breath, bring shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, drag shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, spread in between shoulders. Exhale, squeeze middle part of shoulders back. Squeeze a lot, drag shoulders down. Inhale, spread into the back, palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other, drag shoulders down. Inhale, relax the arms down. Hold the breath, bring shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, pull shoulders and shoulder blades down. Legs are supercharged. Inhale, spread in between shoulders. Exhale, squeeze middle part of shoulders back. Squeeze a lot, pull shoulders down. Inhale, spread into the back, this time palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other. Pull shoulders down. Extended warrior with sacral pulses. Bring the hands onto the hips. Exhale, glide the right hip under towards the left. And then bring the right forearm down onto the right thigh. Inhale, push into the right forearm to create space. Exhale, left hand comes around, so the left middle finger is pointing towards the left heel. Inhale, allow the pelvis to tilt forwards. Exhale, use the hand to help tuck tailbone towards the left heel. Inhale, pelvis tips very slightly forwards, feet are active. Exhale, tailbone tucks towards the left heel. Inhale, forwards. 
Exhale, tuck, using your hand to even pull on the skin of the sacrum. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, tuck. Inhale to release your hands down, step straight back into downward facing dog. Lunge. Inhale, step the left foot forwards. Fold over the right side of your mat so you're doubling up the padding underneath that right leg. Come up so you're bringing your shoulders above your pelvis before we sink down into the pose. Square the hips and shoulders forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone down and push down into both feet. So connect to the visceral sensation of your legs. Squeeze the thighs towards each other like we did with the roll earlier. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, wrap shoulder blades towards the underarms. So you're feeling for that turbo dog, the dolphin action in the chest that we did. Inhale, lift ribs away from pelvis. Exhale, drive down into your left heel, almost as if you were going to leap into the air. Inhale, lift the hips up a little and clasp the hands behind your head. Exhale, bring the chest so it's almost parallel to the ground. Inhale, lengthen ribs forwards. Exhale, twist the right elbow down, left elbow up so you're rotating using your abdominals. Then hook right elbow behind to the outside of the left knee, left hand steps on top. Inhale, lift the rib cage up so the breastbone is in line with the thumbs. Exhale, turn left ribs towards the ceiling. Now, if you want more sensation, tuck the right toes under. Inhale, drive the right leg so it is straight. Inhale, chest scoops forwards. Exhale, turn the ribs up towards the ceiling. Inhale, release the hands down. Set the feet back, come into plank. Inhale, move the shoulders forwards. Exhale, bend elbows and lower to the ground. Now, low cobra, take the arms forwards. Have the elbows so they are in front of the shoulders. Take your feet so they're hip distance apart and tuck the toes under. Pull your heels towards the back of the room. Exhale to tuck tailbone towards the heels. Inhale, pull with your arms. You're physically dragging your chest away from where your feet are pulling you towards. Inhale, lengthen ribs. Exhale, slide the upper arms down away from the ears. Tuck your tailbone towards your heels and reach back through your heels. Inhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Exhale, tuck toes, lift knees up. Lunge. Inhale, step the right foot through between the hands. Fold over left side of the mat so you've got the extra support. And then lower down into the hips. Come up first so the shoulders are above the pelvis. Press down into the feet, tailbone tucks down so you should be able to feel butt muscles kicking in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, wrap shoulder blades towards the underarms as you lower down in the lunge position. Inhale, push down into both feet. Exhale, squeeze the thighs towards one another. Feel how you can dial up your legs rather than dialing them down. So if you know that your practice is one of making the pose and making it very effortless and airy, this is about connecting to your strength. It's about connecting to your power and having that there at your disposal and learning that you can turn that on anytime that you need it. That's a powerful lesson. Twisting lunge. Inhale, back the hips up, clasp the hands behind the head. Now this isn't normally how you would come into this pose, just FYI. Exhale, bring the chest so it's almost parallel to the ground. Exhale, turn the torso. So you're using abdominal muscles and back muscles to get that rotation. Once you've found the edge of your rotation, exhale, release the left elbow, hook it to the outside of the right knee, Right hand stacks on top. Inhale, lift your chest up towards your thumbs. Exhale, slide shoulders down as your ribs rotate towards the, the ceiling at the right side. More flexible or stronger day, tuck the left toes under and straighten the left leg out. Inhale, scoop chest forwards. Exhale, drive left thigh bone backwards. Stable your breathing, so make it as super strong but also as slow as possible. Hmm. Inhale, release the hands. Set the hands down. Step back into downward facing dog. In down dog, take the time to press down into the base of the fingers as you lift the hips up and back, feeling for what is moving. Inhale, set the knees down. The next pose is called dolphin at the wall. So you're going to need to move the end of your yoga mat so it's against the wall. 
Make sure your wall is a wall you can definitely use. It's not a window or a radiator or anything like that. You're going to be stepping your feet up to no more than hip level. If they go higher than that, you will feel like a ton of bricks. When your feet are in line or parallel with the floor, you'll feel like a half ton of bricks, which is significantly better. So I strongly recommend that you are, if you've got a mirror or your phone, you can set it up so you can see where you are positioning wise. If you feel like everything is super challenging, you may be too far away from the wall, which is what I see most people do when they begin to learn this. Set yourself up so your feet are close to the wall and then come down onto the elbows, going for hands clasped. Inhale, lift up between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze chest muscles, tuck toes, then lift the knees up and then lift the feet up onto the wall. Inhale, lift up through your sit bones. Exhale, move the abdomen away from the wall. In variation, you can do five breaths with one leg up and five breaths with the other leg up after, directly after that. If that's too much for them, then obviously work with your feet on the wall and really focusing on lifting those sit bones upwards. If you want more of a challenge but you're not doing the leg lift, drive your heels towards the wall. If you're working one leg at a time, drive up through the lifted leg and the heel and the other heel into the wall so you get a super strong leg connection. All right, come on down. Once you're down, sit with your back against the wall. So you've got that really great support structure behind you holding you up so it's less effort for everywhere else. Turn your left palm in towards your left hip and then sit on your own left hand, palm down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, relax, right ear towards right shoulder. And you need to go after a stretch in that left side of the neck, but also to soothe any of those big turbulent energies from going upside down. Inhale, lift the abdomen. Exhale, turn the chin towards your right shoulder. Left shoulder is down. During neck stretches, it is common that the breathing gets a little bit small. Make it deep and thorough. Tuck the chin straight down, take the left hand onto your forehead, and then lift the head up so you're not straining the neck muscles. Change the cross in your legs. Exhale, take that right hand underneath the right sit bone this time, palm faces down. Inhale, lift the ribs up. Exhale, relax left ear towards left shoulder, feeling for that tugging on the right arm as you lean to the left. Inhale, lift up from abdomen. Exhale, draw that left, that right shoulder blade very slightly back. Stage two, turn the chin towards your left shoulder, feeling the strange, the, the strange, maybe it's strange, feeling the sensation change in the cylinder of the neck. Odd slip of the tongue. Tuck your chin straight down, take that right hand out and then lift your forehead. Following on from neck release, this is Shavasana, final relaxation pose. Choose any position that can help you be comfortable. If laying on your back is uncomfortable for your lower back, do this with the feet planted and allow the knees to rest in towards one another. This is really great for allowing the lower back to almost ease down into the ground. Once you're down, draw the shoulders down away from the ears. And allow yourself to be loosely connected to the physical sensations where your body is in contact with the ground. The feelings of heaviness and support where you are.
let that fullness of your breath recall the sensations of practice, the feelings of strength, the feelings of softening. Begin to move fingers and toes. If your legs are straight, bend them so your feet can be on the ground. Roll to your left and then use your arms to push away from the ground, coming up with a relaxed neck. The left hand brings the head up once you're up. Once you are up, close your eyes and allow your focus to go inwards, committing that high quality attention even at the last part of your practice. Let your breathing expand to fullness feeling how deep a breath you can now take. Bring your hands together at chest. Acknowledge the time you've taken for yourself today. The time to build strength and awareness, to orient yourself in real time, and to feel your body. Namaste.